Hi there. Today's story is the story where God meets Moses through the burning bush. And I'm going to share this large scale painting with you that I have done of the story. You can see just how big this painting is. And here we have Moses standing before this bush that is not being consumed by the fire. Rather, it just simply remains. Moses saw that as he was tending sheep out in the wilderness in the land of Midian. And he knew something was different about this. So he turned his face when he saw this bush burning. He turned his face from it, knowing that it was God revealing himself to Moses. And when God saw that he turned his face, God said to Moses, Moses, you are standing on holy ground. So take off your sandals because this is holy ground. And here I've depicted some rocks and sand, perhaps. This took place at Mount Horeb, which is also known as Mount Sinai. And so Moses takes off his sandals. And just as a little side note here, the drawing part of this today, I'm going to share with you. Let's see if you can guess what it is that I'm drawing. Yeah, you got it. Here are Moses sandals that he takes off because he's standing on this holy ground. Now if you'd like to try and draw these, just try and look at them as shapes and not so much as sandals. You can imagine Moses' toes would have been right about here in the sandals. We'll make those little imprints or dents maybe in the sandals if that's what he had. Maybe they weren't that soft or cushy of sandals. Let's put a little shadow underneath here as if the the burning bush and the fire from that is casting light across the sandals and therefore a shadow. So Moses takes off his shoes and we'll go back to the picture now. God tells Moses that God has been watching the people of Israel uh, in slavery and God calls Moses who had ran away in fear to go back and to let to Tell Pharaoh to let the people go. And Moses, I think, was afraid again to go back. And so he starts coming up with reasons why he is not the one to go back. He says he's not able to speak well and so forth. All these different reasons. But nonetheless, God does not allow any of those excuses to get in the way, but sends him back. And in this conversation that Moses and the Lord have with one another, the Lord reveals his name to Moses, uh, Yahweh. I am who I am. And Moses then eventually goes uh, and answers this call of God. Perhaps there's something in that story for you, where wherever you are in life, um, whether it's young, middle-aged, or getting up in years, as Moses was not probably very young anymore here when God calls him to go back. Nonetheless, God puts a call on your life and calls you through Jesus to see the needs of the people around you. And when you see the needs of the people around you, that is where your calling is at, to use the gifts and the things that God has made available to you to help those people out. And so Moses is given this very big job of going back to meet Pharaoh, and he does. And we know how that story goes. Eventually, Pharaoh lets the people go. And those people will be back here on this very same mountain um, as Moses receives the Sinai Covenant and the Ten Commandments as a part of it. That story is yet to come. So there's your story for today. God bless you, and may you find peace and comfort and hope in the call that God places upon your life.